I'm John Mayo. I'm a professor of economics, business, and public policy at Georgetown University. I'm also the executive director uh, of the Center for Business and Public Policy, which is the co-host to, today for the uh, workshop, uh, together with the Wireless Technology Association. We are very excited about this, and part of the reason we're excited is that the mission uh, of the Georgetown Center for Business and Public Policy is to examine in a variety of economic sectors the evolution of innovation, the evolution of competition, and the evolution of regulation. Here today, you're going to see that we have all three elements in play with business panels, with policy panels, with technology panels. We're very excited. I think that it's a great lineup for folks. Uh, let me say that we do things well beyond this sector at the Georgetown Center, and let me encourage you all to take a look at our website. We have a variety of things that you can read there, short policy papers, economic policy vignettes, or longer pa papers, including by our, uh, most recently, just this week, by our very own Larry Downs, Senior Policy Scholar at Georgetown. So please do take a look at those. We also have videos from other events. Uh, just this past month, we had a, uh, an economic summit on digital infrastructure uh, hosted in this uh, room that featured, among other people, six of the former chief economists of the FCC. So this uh, is a platform, I think, for a rich and robust discussion, dialogue, and debate about public policy issues that are vital to America. Let me uh, turn the podium over to uh, Peter Rosavi, our friend and partner in crime, uh, to offer some welcoming remarks. Thank you, John. Thanks, everybody, for coming today. The Wireless Technology Association has now been in existence for over 20 years. We began at a time when we knew that people would eventually figure out what to do with wireless data. <laughs> and, um, and, and, and we did. We figured, well, you know, basically, you know, technologists and innovators and so forth have made wireless data communications ubiquitous, and wireless data has conquered the smartphone. We're now at the beginning of a new age where advanced connectivity, whether it's wireless, other methods, are now going to enable entirely new types of applications, which people refer to as the Internet of Things. And in that Internet of Things realm, which is vast and somewhat undefined at this stage, just everybody has a sense that it will be huge and will be something that evolves over the next number of decades. But in that realm, smart cities represent one of the areas where the Internet of Things is really already gaining traction and the potential applications are, or some initial applications are quite well understood, um, but realizing at the same time that what people will be doing in this area uh, 10 years from now might be things that we haven't even thought of today. The connectivity we have today with 4G already supports a lot of these applications and as 5G becomes available, one of the intents um, of this workshop today is to look at how evolving, expanding capabilities and technology will address new types of applications for smart cities. We've structured the day to begin with a technology panel where we want to provide a foundation so people understand what the technology enables, and we're not just going to look at the technology from the point of view of connectivity, but we're going to look at it all the way up the protocol stack, as, a, as us engineers like to refer to it, all the way up to artificial intelligence concepts. After the technology panel, we're going to have a business considerations panel, an investment um, panel, and then after all that, we'll have a third panel which will be on policy. So I think those three panels will really um, capture uh, the opportunity and what needs to happen 
in a combination of technology and panel and policy for the full potential of this market to be realized. I'm pleased that we can begin with a keynote address by a company that is actively involved with smart cities globally. And I think he will provide some excellent insight to begin the day. Uh, please welcome me. Uh, please welcome Eric um, Dresselhoff.